that you're going to have to pay for your dairy cows because dairy cows poop and there's methane in that, that poop. And uh, you've got to tell them that if you start paying that with, uh, with uh, milk somewhere, I don't know whether it's between 10 and 13, but somewhere is in there, that you can't make any money arguing with the science of that, but that we've got anything in our agricultural program to do with what happens in, the, uh, in Brazil. So you've got to educate people here that if they're going to put uh, a factor of plowing up land called in, indirect, uh, I, indirect land use, thank you. You're right on top of this, you ought to get paid more. Uh, indirect land loot, uh, use. Uh, that, that it's our fault and that we, can, uh, that we have to respond to the policies made somewhere else. It's the same way that we're, we're going to be asked to do a global warming bill at the very same time that uh, China uh, pu puts more CO2 in the air than we do and somehow we, we're going to cut down on all of the CO2 going into the air here while uh, China's putting uh, coal-fired utility plants uh, almost weekly online out there. So it's a case here of you, your being here. Now I want to emphasize something that's very important and very sincere. I happen to be a Republican. I happen to be a Farm Bureau member. I happen to be in a lot of discussions over the last eight years on farm policy. I'm not going to be on those discussions, particularly if they're behind doors to a considerable extent. Farmers Union has a place at the table in most issues in this area dealing with agriculture, dealing with the environment, dealing with labor issues, and maybe a lot of other issues. That you have a place at the table where you want to use that place at the table to educate the people in this town about the impact that some of these decisions are having on agriculture. And the first one you want to get out is that if you're going to cut farmers off at $500,000 gross income, there's one word left out, adjust it. That's got to be in there. So it's a privilege for me to be with you, and thank you very much for what you do for agriculture.